Hello and welcome my lovely Sagittarians. Welcome to my Anne Skulls International Psychic Medium YouTube channel. Brand new! I am so excited to be bringing you a free reading for the month of September. So what I'm going to do is start with some angel cards. Please remember this may not resonate with all of you but please take the inspiration and the empowerment that it brings through because I ask my guys and angels, spirit guides, to bring all of those things to you this month for whatever situation you are looking at in your life. These are the Dorian Virtue Healing with Angel cards. I'm going to pull one card. Put it there. I'm now going to shuffle the Witch's Tarot. And I'm going to ask again all angels for and spirit guides and ascended masters to bring the inspiration, upliftment, guidance and comfort and empowerment to all Sagittarians watching this reading. some kipper cards so we're going to give that little, these a little shuffle again we're looking for inspiration empowerment upliftment oh that wants to come out so let's pop that there definitely wants to come out didn't it so you may be watching this uh, video because you've got a Sagittarian moon or an ascendant in Sagittarius let's have a look and see where we're going now Okay, let's start with the angel card. Oh, lovely. I always feel this card comes out when you may have been going through a little bit of emotional turmoil. The angels want to bring serenity this month into you, into your heart center, into your heart chakra. I love the color, it's a pale green which resonates with the heart center. And the lilies are to bring the peacefulness and harmony within. And the Angel of Serenity watches over you this month, bringing this lovely, lovely feeling of relief from whatever's been going on and just feeling in a very tranquil place. So that's what the angels want to bring in for you this month. So let's pop that there. Let's have a look and see. There we go, that's the one that came out. And then I can see why bringing serenity in for you brilliance okay nine of swords it's not a pretty card is it it is one of mental stress feeling you things are getting on top of you you know not much headroom to think just being overwhelmed by things um, so to see the angel of serenity coming in is a welcome relief because this card is really all about the things you've been thinking over the the drama that's going on it's like oh maybe feeling a little down a little low can't get out of bed but let's see what comes next we've got the moon so a lot of confusion around you an illusion. Maybe things are not quite as they seem. The moon here guides us to our intuition. The light there is that there is light in this situation. We just have to look a little harder or feel it. Feel for it. What does it feel like? You know, um, but it's guidance from your spirit guides too. And although there are two wolves in this car, they are behind her. They're not going for it, they're just standing behind, watching on. Spiritually, wolves represent fear. So you may be gripped by some kind of fear, fear of what's going on, fear to come in. But this card says, we don't see everything at the moment. Things are not as bad as you think, especially if it's around something you desire. So the moon says, just be cautious. Let's have a look at the next card. 
the King of Cups. So it feels to me like a relationship. There may have you been, and like I say, this may not resonate with everybody, but I feel this if you're in a relationship, you may have been having a very difficult time, a very stressful time. You may be, you know, miscommunicating, misunderstandings with your partner. And this is a very welcome card because this is saying it's not over. What it is, is it's about sitting down and having the courage to talk things through. Sometimes we have to compromise. And this is all about compromising and mediation. Maybe you've split up with somebody and you're getting the opportunity here to sit down and talk things through. But it's a very welcome card. It's a very balanced card. If it is somebody that you're dealing with, they will be in a better place this month to sit down and mediate, talk things through, work things out, be understanding of situations. So it's a very, very welcome card. And here's the change. The Wheel of Fortune says you're no longer going to be in this situation. Things are going to start to get better. So I do feel you can work things out if you're in a relationship that you're struggling with. This is a welcome change. This is all about destiny playing its hand. So something may come in to save the day. But it was sent from the heavens. It was meant to be. There are no coincidences in life. Everything is destined and this is destiny. Better luck. If you've been down on your luck, this is much better luck. Things are looking up. Things are starting to move forward for you. So this is a great card to see. And bringing in balance and harmony. So change for the better and bringing that balanced approach. Harmonious situations and justice being served. If you've been wronged and this is a, a situation that you've had to mediate with something or someone, this is very much about justice, getting what you want. And look at this, how happy you are. You've gone from being like that as we opened up the cards being sort of all stressed out and oh I don't know what I'm going to do to sitting feeling grounded so this is all in the head okay headspace so this is saying no actually the reality is I'm grounded now things are turning things are better things are more secure they're stable and it's it's a it's a wonderful position to be in coming through that those first three cards because it's saying yes you can do this you're strong you're very practical, very nurturing with this. Um, a lot of love here. Very loving feeling. And here we have good news being brought into you. This is a relationship. This is the person steadily moving towards you. There's been a change of heart because he's underneath the Wheel of Fortune. There's been a change of heart. He's heading towards you. He's bringing his friendship and his love. Things are getting so much better. And again, you're bringing balance. Balance here. On another note, some of you could be going and meeting up with old friendships, um, catching up over old times, remembering yesteryear. Um, but this is a harmonious card, one of joy. You could be having good times with this person, especially if you've been with them a long time, you've been going through a difficult time. This is you now being able to be happy and remember the good times and the daft things you got up to um, and having a lot of laugh and a lot, laughs and a lot of fun. But it's very calm. It's a very calm card and it's a very balanced card. There could even be a weekend away. After the turmoil you've been through, this would suggest either going away for the weekend, taking some time out, having a bit of fun. Um, yes, it could be that you're a wee bit guarded. You're sort of saying, well, I'm in it, but I was just holding a wee bit back. Um, but certainly uh, time to have a little retreat um, and find some, you know, maybe having a date. Maybe having a date night. 
um, sometimes relationships can get a bit stale and when you put in a date night or something that you used to do when you first met and bring back those feelings, it can be a lot of fun and it can be just what you need to revive the situation. Let's have a look at the card that flew out. Oh, courtship. There we go. So if you've been struggling in a relationship, things are going to work out. It may need, be that you need to go back to dating like you used to be. That would be good fun. If you've been having problems with somebody, it, you know, you've not met them too long ago and you've been struggling with them, there's a change of heart. And there's dating and courting. It's an old fashioned word, isn't it? Here. So coming together, a union. So I feel that if you've been having problems with a relationship, it is going to come back together. I don't feel like it's going to be a complete ending whereby you're saying goodbye and that's it. Um, if you've got children, there's harmony around you where the children are concerned as well. It just feels as if everything is coming together and you're getting back on a track to build your relationship again. I mean, we're constantly building relationships. We never sit still. We're always learning about our relationships as well. So this is a happy ending, I'm pleased to say. So thank you, my lovely Sagittarians, for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this made sense to you. Obviously, I know it doesn't resonate with everybody. It's a general reading. Um, but what I will say is if you would like to know more, uh, then there is an extended reading. The details are below. And um, I will see you all soon. Have a great September.